Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I was just sitting here talking to the Lord and asking him what he thought about those of us who want to believe so bad that he could be possibly coming back by Christmas. And the ones in the past who believed it was this day or that day and it didn't happen. And how can anybody say that that's a sin to be so in love with Jesus? I'm talking about that he's the lover of your soul. I find it a problem, and you, you may not like this, but I find it a problem with your relationship if you're willing to just say, oh, we can't believe in any day. Just live your life, and when it happens, it happens. It's almost, almost as if you don't really care when you're going. Like you love this world enough to be satisfied with it. I'm not satisfied with it. I have a nice place here. I, I, I you know, I, I have no complaints. But I want to be with my Jesus. How can you find fault in that? How can anybody find fault with us that want to believe that maybe, maybe this time somebody's got it figured out and it ain't just one person. It's a whole lot of people if you look around. And I know it happened before whole lot of people was convinced it was going to be another time the year before that. I know it. And you know yeah, it was disappointing. It was a real bummer when it didn't happen. But people didn't make it up. They weren't pulling things out of thin air. They were taking dreams and visions that they had received. Scriptures they misinterpreted. When you put this with this and with that and others getting it too and then you, are you going to sit on that and not tell people? Really? Are you going to get a dream? Let's say you get a dream. That you're being raptured. And you saw Christmas presents laying around. You're telling me you're going to not share that? Whatever it is. Something... You're convinced is prophetic. Message, dream, or vision. Something you've studied, the Daniel prophecy. And you really believe you've got the timeline down pat. Are you going to sit on it? And not share it? Because, oh, what if I'm wrong? What if you... Are the one that got it right. You're going to wait and see. Oh let me see if somebody else puts it up first. No it's got to be at least three. If three put it up then I'll put mine up. I mean really? Be bold. If you have. If you are filled with the Holy Spirit. You should have the boldness. To not be a chicken. <laughs> you should not be worried. If you get something from the Lord. You better share it. Let's share it. 
How many of you out there are having dreams and visions? Or getting messages? Or figuring stuff out from the Word of God? That's how God speaks to probably most of us. It's a way of speaking to us. Are you just going to sit at home and keep it all to yourself? I don't think that's right. I think that's the sin. That is my opinion. But I believe the Lord gives us names for us to share. So however you have to do it, I am saying, I'm asking you tonight to please share what you know. Share what you get. And maybe we'll figure this thing out together. Okay? There's an awful lot of conflicting messages on YouTube. Oh, Trump's going to salvage America. Our prayers were answered. No. Oh, no. That's not what's happening. Trump is as bad as the rest, and he's going to be killed, and blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah, that's the way I believe it. He's not God's answer for America. I'm sorry for those of you who think that. I just don't believe that, and yeah, I could be wrong. But the very thought of this things going on, knowing what we know is going on with our Congress and politicians and all around the world is going on much longer with our precious children. I just, I can't see it. I can't hardly stomach it. So, please share what you know, or get, or believe. And if you didn't hear it from God, just say, Look, I didn't hear this from God, but I've been studying the Word, and this is what I'm coming up with. It's perfectly okay. That does not make you a sinner or a false prophet. And those of you who are telling people, that we're false prophets just because we share somebody's video or we do a Bible study and we've read some scriptures and come up with um, like the Daniel prophecy. And we say, okay, it's got to be in this time frame because this happened here and this happened there. And then according to Daniel, 1,335 days later, this happened there. You see what I'm saying? You're following scriptures. Yeah, you could be wrong. But you're trying. I personally want out of here. I want to be with the lover of my soul. And if you don't want to be, just get off of YouTube and go watch television. That's all I have to say. And I plead the blood of Jesus over all of you. And I pray for those of you who don't really want to go. I do. I pray for you. You're lukewarm. I plead the blood over this video and over the internet connection. So it'll go up. And I pray that all People who watch this are saved, born again, make it into heaven. In Jesus' name I pray that. Amen.